welcome back to the Russia Show once again. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Could really use your support. And let's get right to it. On Sunday, Bailey lost the WWE, you know, lost in the WWE Women's Title Match on Raw to Alexa Bliss, of course. And many people aren't sure what's going on with the WWE. It's it's like Bailey has lost her luster with the WWE creative teams and everything like that. And it seems as if that may be the case. Like they've just it's like she she's lost her luster with the um the crew as one headline put it. What I don't understand is how you have somebody that was highly touted as Bailey was coming out of NXT and the fans love her. The fans the fans, you know, pop for her every time she comes out. And I don't quite understand why she's getting passed over as often as she is. Doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense for business. They say they're, you know, one of the big taglines was during that whole authority time and everything else like that was that we got to do what's best for business. Well, I don't think holding Bailey back and making her lose every time you turn around is going to get it done. Um, I thought I was hoping her, myself that she would hold off. They would hold off on her losing until, you know, Later, you know, later in the the summer, maybe SummerSlam or something like that, or after they had her lose to you know to Bliss last, you know, at the pay per view before Extreme Rules and such, that maybe Bailey would get back on a winning streak and have to work her way back, and maybe get the title back by SummerSlam. But obviously, that's not happening, and I don't know what's wrong with the WWE. I don't know what they what what has happened behind the scenes. I mean, maybe it's something behind the scenes that we don't know about. Some political, you know, there's, there's always politics, you know, backstage. Maybe she's just not playing by their rules. Maybe there's just something going on somewhere that the fans just don't know about. But that said, you know, Bliss is, is fairly new, you know, and Bailey's fairly new. And they both need to be, you know, pushed strong characters. But Bailey's being pushed back. You know, she's not being pushed, you know, as a strong character. She's being put, portrayed as a weak individual, a, a weak um, wrestler who can't get it done. And if you ask me, that's pathetic because she's one of the better wrestlers in, you know, you know, in the current women's division on Raw. I mean, you have other people that are bigger. You know, you got Nia Jax. She's strong. She's big. And, you know, she's powerful. But Nia Jax is not as technical of a wrestler, or as good at doing her job as Bailey, But Bailey is sitting down there relegated to the same status as Nia Jax, as somebody who is not considered important, as somebody who just needs to get passed, should get passed over, should be beat every time it comes around. You know, they, they let her have her WrestleMania moment, and that's it. It's like, oh, we're done. We're done with you. That doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, and I think... Um, Bliss is a, a great wrestler. I really enjoy watching her in the ring. I think she's really good. But I think Bailey has earned it as well. And I don't think you should have her looking so weak coming out of that match. As well, that match was so dang short, it was it was impossible to even get going. I mean, they hardly even got going before the match was over. My wife and I were sitting there watching the match, and we're just like, what happened? You know, the kendo stick is got, it's over. You know, there's a little run around the ring they did. And then the match is over. And really? Bailey's that weak that just a, a minor attack, you know, a small attack after the kendo stick comes down, and all of a sudden the match is completely over? That doesn't seem like the Bailey I remember watching in NXT. That's not the Bailey I remember I remember watching since she's been on the main roster. So what happened, WWE? What happened within the WWE that has made Bailey? seem to not be the hot commodity that she once was. Why are they pushing her to the back? This is These are things that fans want to know. And I will do what I can to, to do the digging I need to to find out what's going on. So, if I find out any more information, I'll let you know. But I think it's absolutely ridiculous that Bailey's being relegated to, you know, jobber status as of late. I don't think it's proper. I don't think it needs to be done. She should be being, she should be being pushed as a strong, a strong character, a strong wrestler, you know, and a fan favorite. And I understand that a lot of, you know, 
part of the role of being a, a baby face is you get your ass beat every now and then. I mean, take The Rock, for example. Got beat up by Triple H over and over and over again. And But here's the difference. In the end, The Rock came out on top a lot of times. As it is right now, Bailey's not coming out on top. As it is right now, Bailey's been relegated to the you know the jobber status, and she's getting passed over while other people are being portrayed as you know strong and you know and talented and all this. Meanwhile, she's being pushed down there as a jobber, and she's starting to look no better than the Brooklyn Brawler for crying out loud. And and I know in in the wrestlers do what they have to do to get by. They they do what they're asked to. But you know, when you're an up and comer like Bailey, it's not time to for her to be sho for you to be shoved down to a to a jobber. I mean, she was she was the the, the you know the Raw Women's Champion for crying out loud. You know, she was the NXT Champion. I don't I just don't understand. It, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, please like and subscribe. And like I said, if you have any uh, any comments on what you think is going on with Bailey and the WWE, please let me know down in the comments below. All right, have a great day.